When your instrument doesn't keep up with your level of playing, it's time to look for something more capable. I'm here to help you choose your next sax. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tom. I'm an orchestral specialist at Gear for Music, and I'm here to help you choose your next saxophone to take your playing up a level. Beginner saxophones are great to get you started, but there are pro features that filter down to help you upgrade your playing. So these will be things like upgrade materials, upgraded mechanisms, and ultimately, this will help you sound better. However, before looking at upgrading your saxophone, you might want to look at your setup. So have a look at your mouthpiece, your ligature, and your reed. This can really have a big impact on your sound. There are lots of different mouthpieces and reeds on the market, so you can go for a more jazzy sound, a more classical sound, or quite a versatile sound. Ultimately, by doing this, you might end up saving yourself some money in the long run. Chin chin! But if you do decide to upgrade your saxophone, there are a few more pro features you might want to look for, which will help improve the playability and response. Design, materials, and mechanisms are all much improved from beginner models. So the first saxophone I'm going to look at is the Yamaha YAS480. Yamaha is synonymous with high standards and excellent craftsmanship, and this saxophone is no exception. One of the nice upgrade features on this sax is the neck. So this is also featured on the YAS62, which is the model above. It really helps with your intonation. So that's to say how well you stay in tune across the range of the instrument. Also can actually upgrade to their custom range of necks, which will help your playing even further because you can really customize your sound. As your playing improves, you're going to want some mechanisms that really help respond to your touch. So one of the things that's been improved are the low key mechanism. So this is on the seesaw keys here. So you can really slide around a lot easier on the lower end. In terms of the top end, you've had the front F key redesigned. So this makes it a lot easier to reach and a lot easier to play. So you move your fingers a lot less. You've also got the adjustable thumb rest here, which can help position the saxophone a lot better for you. And you've also got adjustable key guards here. So this will help control how well the pads seal. The brass on this YS480 is probably a little bit heavier than what you're used to with a student saxophone. And there's a good reason for this. It helps give a bolder, more authoritative tone, which would be great for a big band setting. It's a great all-round saxophone and one that you know that you can rely on. Even the hand engraving is an excellent finishing touch too. When I started playing, I started playing clarinet. So Buffet or Buffet Crampon is a name that I'm really familiar with. I know them for the high quality craftsmanship. And so it's no surprise that that also translates to their oboes and of course saxophones. So this is why the Buffet 400 sax is my next choice for an upgrade. The 400 series of buffet saxophones are great to upgrade to, as they share a lot of features with the more premium Senzo range. One of the nice touches are the Pisoni pads. They're made from premium leather, which helps create an excellent seal on the saxophone, so therefore you won't lose any of the sound by air escaping. And the tone is also improved because you've got the metal reflectors to do, as it suggests, reflect the sound out of the saxophone. Also, they've got these double brace key arms, which helps to distribute the pressure across the pad and therefore decrease on the wear and tear. This saxophone also features what's called rib construction. So each of the pillars are mounted onto a rib. This is then mounted onto the saxophone. It does add a little bit more weight compared to them being individually added, but can also help improve the tone and the stability. This next saxophone I'm going to look at is a Consalm at PAS 380V and the V stands for vintage. There are other finishes available, but this does really stand out because it's got that unlacquered look. So it will tarnish over time, but really stands out. It will also give you a much bolder tone because there's no lacquer. 
Another nice touch are these black key pearls. Beginner saxophones are designed to be as free-blowing as possible, so that means you can get a sound straight from the off. However, this saxophone is built with a little bit more resistance in it, so it means it's a little bit less wild in that respect, so you can really focus on your tone, which is really important as you're developing as a player. Also, this saxophone comes with a Eugene Rousseau mouthpiece. For the purpose of the video, I've actually got my own setup on here, which is something that you can also do. Russo himself was a prolific saxophone teacher and knows exactly what sort of sound is good for a developing player. The mouthpiece that's included is a more contemporary mouthpiece, the JDX, which means that it's more suitable for a wide range of contemporary styles. Upgrading your saxophone is obviously going to be an expense, so it's going to be a considered purchase. So I hope sharing some of my favourite saxophones has given you some inspiration, as well as showing you some things to look out for. If you've enjoyed the video, click like, subscribe and comment below. Thanks for watching.